Hello guys. As you can see here, I have my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. For the first phone I got back in November 29th. Uh, here's a replacement, brand new. Well, it's actually a certified or refurbished uh, replacement that the Verizon sent me. The reason why I'm doing this video, guys, is just to make you aware that uh, there's a uh, firmware update that was released a couple of weeks ago. As a result, I'm pretty sure that's a, the reason as a result of that update, my battery went from uh, giving me a day or day and a half uh, charge to a, down to eight or nine hours. Uh, I thought it was a battery, went to a store, they gave me a, a replacement for my battery, uh, charged the phone overnight, same thing the next day, eight or nine hours. Um, Call customer service, they accepted to give me a, a replacement. And um, basically, before I got, I activated the replacement because you know the replacement is a certified phone. It's, it's being used and it's reconditioned to uh, as a as a brand new phone. I would rather keep my my brand new phone that I got uh, back in November 29 when it was released. So I tried to do a factory reset. Basically, that fixed the issue. So I'm not telling you don't download the update. If you if you have it uh, available to download but if you get this issue with the battery draining so quick um, go ahead and do the factory reset you don't need to get a replacement or, or change the battery it's not the battery it's not the phone it's it's I'm pretty sure I can tell you it's the, the update so that's basically what I wanted to tell you and actually if I go into the settings here um, about phone so far update check new so there is no update available right now so basically even though I did the factory reset uh, it kept the update that I did uh, before the the update was available so doing the factory reset doesn't get rid of the update I guess it just uh, fixed the issue with the battery and um, if you see here it says uh, status last checked on um, no, actually, this is just right now, but it was updated like two weeks ago, and that's when I started noticing the issue with the battery. So, anyways, guys, just to let you know that if you run into that issue, you don't need to replace the phone or uh, get any battery. Just do a factory reset, and it's gonna be fixed. So just a quick thing here. Let me show you about my battery life. So I have this up here, and. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I have 52% remaining. I have left average 16 hours and 28 minutes. So, and I've been using the phone for 15 hours. My uh, average battery life is one day. So it should be lasting a long time, at least 17, 18 hours before you're down to 40%. So anyways, thanks for watching.